Good morning. Uh, this is Elite Dangerous. It's a little bit later than usual. Uh, working on stuff here at the house, so um, sneaking in some time here while the cement is drying. This is Elite Dangerous on the PC. Uh, we are still uh, way out in uh, the middle of nowhere. Uh, I did not launch voice attack. Uh, so I don't have that. Alright, so this is where we're at. Now, I've been saying we should go into Colonia. I'm kind of starting to rethink that. And I wonder if we should just... I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much. I think whatever it is, it is. Um, um, so I'll have a look and see what uh, the Beyond update does for me uh, way out here. Um, Obviously, I cannot do any engineering out here. Uh, but I do have an excellent opportunity to... Um, uh, fill up my stocks of materials. Uh, the inventory now has been separated into having X number of things per. So we can at least um, gather some of that on our way. Uh, and we can listen to the radio. I'm gonna turn on the Galnet News. And, and we can get a uh, look at that. Um, obviously, also, crime and punishment doesn't matter out here. Uh, engineers doesn't really matter out here. Um, my understanding is you can pin uh, one... A blueprint per engineer so we'll do that once we get back to the bubble uh, but we're gonna uh, find uh, a nice planet we're gonna roam around with the SRE for a little bit and get some um, materials We're going to need a lot of materials for the um, for the engineering. Alright, so of course the first thing that happens is that uh, we don't get any uh, uh, 
And also, I forgot to launch... Uh, ED Discovery, hold on. This is Voice Pack 5 for Elite Dangerous Discovery. Welcome Competent Commander Bert of Cooper, flying a Anaconda with 142.93 million credits. Alright, we'll disable. We'll disable that. The second thing we'll see is, of course, um, all the new um, color textures they've put on on planets. We can get some variation here. Well, we'll swing by and take a look at this one. I don't think they've done anything to the hologram. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. This one doesn't really look very different. Uh, but it, it is not just a beige ball floating in space anymore. Also, I did not notice that there was two suns here. So... Uh, with uh, the changes, I think, uh, perhaps... Exploring will be a little bit more interesting at this point, because... Oh yeah, there's four suns. Um... With um, with more interesting um, planet surfaces, and definitely with um, it sounds like they have upped the amount of materials um, you can find on planets. Um, not necessarily more different types, but. Um, It sounds like you'll have more luck finding mineable stones, High Mars perhaps. 07. Uh, good afternoon, Cartel. How are you doing? Grats on 200. Thank you. I am now working on 225. Did I update that? I didn't update that. Good here, mate. Tie house, you. Uh, I am doing pretty good. Uh, I've taken a break from games for a little while, uh, and a little bit longer break from um, Elite Dangerous, and I think um, it did me good. It's only been a couple of weeks though, but still... Try to get less of those, uh, loop of correction. Uh, the material storage uh, update is really gonna be uh, great. There's gonna be a lot of grinding to fill it up. 
Um, and of course, there is no. Um, Yet I'm loving the updates. There are some. This is an interesting little planet, isn't it? But it, it kind of looks like the, the, the planets are looking more like what you'd expect based on the hologram. Maybe it's just that I haven't taken a closer look at them before because it was kind of pointless. 17? No, oh, that's still good. Yeah, I spent some time on the PS4 side yesterday, uh, zooming around, doing some engineering and stuff. Uh, spent some time at uh, Dav's Hope picking up um, uh, some uh, stuff like some materials over there. I needed some chemical manipulators for the frameshift drive. Sorry, I really want to get into this can of soda. Um, so yeah, it's going to be some SRVing happening. I just want to pick up a couple of terraforming candidates here. This one is a little bit far away though. Oh, that's not the one. Um, so the... I wonder if only some things are... Are these the only ones that are playable? I'm going to look no. for the Gordian sites later. Yeah, uh, um, these guys? And I'm too far away for that f from here on the PC side, but um, it sounds like they are defended. Oh, let's see what what it does here. Ramtar searching for new guardian sites. The engineer Ramtar, a leading oh, that is very very low. Guardians has requested help in locating undiscovered sites from the ancient alien race. He has issued the following statement. The artifacts recently delivered to me have been subjected to intense molecular analysis. As a result, I have deduced the possibility of Guardian sites in three specific systems. Co-173, Sector QUOD-625, HD... And Samuel, EUQC2110. I urge the galactic community to investigate these systems, where I believe we may find further traces of the Guardian's ancient civilization. I appreciate that this could be a wild goose chase, but data from such sites, if they exist, would be extremely valuable. Ramtar has asked that any data be delivered to him at Phoenix Base in the main system. Thargoids targeting Aegis laboratories. Analytical reports released by Aegis have confirmed a pattern to the Thargoids' recent starboard attacks, Full stop. which have left thousands dead and infrastructures crippled. Full stop. Admiral Aiden Tanner, Aegis' chief stop. military liaison, made this statement. We have identified that the Thargoids are specifically targeting starports, where Aegis laboratories are established. These include Titan's daughter in the Tegeta system, Lehman Legacy and HIP 16753, 
and the Oracle in the Pleiades Sector IIWD-155. In conjunction with local security services and system authorities, we are increasing defensive measures at all starports, where Aegis has a presence. Professor Albert Tesro, the organization's chief scientific advisor, Welcome to new viewers in the stream. Concerns. If you Aegis enjoy the stream, Please consider clicking like or subscribing. It would be most appreciated. So it's clear they're attempting to prevent us investigating their technology and our artifacts. Naturally, we'll take precautions, but I can only wonder what a long-term solution might be. Will we have to establish laboratories in secret locations, such as bunkers or asteroids? So I'm not sure if it's going to read all of it. Real relationship with the species. Federal initiative concludes. The Federation has announced that the Bulwark project has reached a successful conclusion. Scores of pilots supported the campaign by delivering commodities to John Dock. These will be used to research the possibility of an automated Federal Defense Force. As the campaign drew to a close, Federal Shadow President Felicia Winters released a statement. My sincere gratitude goes to those who supported this campaign. But I want to remind you that we are still some way from a fully automated defense force. The Bulwark Project's initial remit is simply to establish the economic and military feasibility of such an enterprise. Meanwhile, opponents have continued to voice concerns that it... The Hyperspace. Continuing our popular series. The origin of the Alliance. Thargoids targeting Aegis laboratories. Analytical reports released by Aegis have confirmed a pattern to the Thargoids' recent starboard attacks, which have left thousands dead and infrastructures crippled. Admiral Aiden Tanner, Aegis's chief military liaison. Yeah, so there's only certain. We have identified that the Thargoids are specifically targeting starports where Aegis laboratories are. There's only certain. These um... include Titan's daughter in the Tegeta system, Lehman Legacy in HIP 16753, and the Oracle in the Pleiades sector. Of... There's only certain stories that are read. In conjunction it's not with local everything. security services and system authorities, we are increasing defensive measures at all starports. Where Aegis has a presence. Professor Albert Tesro, the organization's chief scientific advisor, voiced additional concerns. We're Aegis gonna centers were set up to increase our check out these two. The um, so it's clear they're attempting to prevent us investigating their technology and artifacts. Naturally, we'll take precautions, but I can only wonder what a long term solution might be. Will we have to establish laboratories in secret locations, such as bunkers or asteroids? Aegis's work is critical. Only through knowledge might we establish a real relationship with the species. Federal initiative concludes. The Federation has announced that the Bulwark project has reached a successful conclusion. Scores of pilots supported the campaign by delivering commodities to John Dock. These will be used to research the possibility of an automated Federal Defense Force. As the campaign drew to a close, Federal Shadow President Felicia Winters released a statement. My sincere gratitude goes to those who supported this campaign. But I want to remind you that we are still some way from a fully automated defense force. The Bulwark Project's initial remit is simply to establish the economic and military feasibility of such an enterprise. Meanwhile, opponents right, are going to land to here. Concerns that it could lead to the development of artificial intelligence, which is outlawed throughout the galaxy. Pilots who contributed to the initiative can uh. now collect their rewards from John Dock in the Momoi Rent system. Anti Thargoid operation. Following the success of last month's Federal Imperial. Right, I'm flying kind of slow because I'm also updating. ED Discovery while we're again, flying here. But here's another example of um, the, will focus on the, the remapping of, of how the planets look. This is nothing like the beige planet we had before. The purpose of the two-pronged operation 
is to reduce the Thargoid presence in Pleiades Sector OITC-37 so. and to recover black boxes and personal effects from Thargoid attack sites in Ariatus Sector XCZ. We'll see how this, um... The former initiative is being overseen by the looks when we're landing fleet, here. While the latter is being like I said, I'm coming in a little slow. I'm installing enterprise. software on Pilots the side here, so... These operations will be eligible for substantial rewards. Admiral Denton Patrias launched the campaign with the following statement. We know that militias of experienced combat pilots are particularly engaged. Many effective against the Thargoids, but we must not be complacent. Our enemies are Alright, so the red overlay HUD here is a little hell. useless on the this very, very on red the planet. Of February 3304 and will run for one week. If the final target is met earlier, I think we're gonna planned, aim to land uh, next to that big crater. Generation ships, continuing our popular series on significant episodes from human history. Noted historian Simakal Hana discusses generation ships before the development of faster than light travel. Colonizing distant star systems was a profoundly difficult proposition. For the people of the 21st century, the answer was Yeah, the we may be too far away for that. These vast interstellar rocks, equipped with everything needed to sustain human life, were crewed by multiple successive generations, pioneers who were born, lived, and died aboard a starship. The first generation ship was launched in 2097, and in the centuries that followed, many more set off into the vastness of space. Most of these ambitious expeditions were funded by large corporations, and the penalties for interfering with them were severe. Yeah, we gotta be careful too, because uh, there is no coming the back from a writing, crash out there here. There are believed to be somewhere in the region of 70,000 generation ships coursing through the galaxy. The approximate location of most of these ships has been calculated, but not all are accounted for. Many of the corporations that funded the original generation ships have now been dissolved or assimilated by other organizations, so it is difficult to determine exactly who is responsible for some of these vessels. It has been theorized that some of the original generation ships may soon reach their destinations. Yeah, we're still like four kilometers up, so I don't known. care if we're it doing a, a bit of a nose that they here. Colonized while the generation ships were in we have to be a little careful though, we it's a three quarters have a contingency um, strategy for such a scenario. Three quarters G here, so it's a little bit more than what I used to, because I'm usually landing on moons and they have very low gravity. Human history. Noted historian Simakal Hana discusses the foundation of the Pilots' Federation. The Pilots' Federation was established in 2805 in response to a surge in private starships. Right, I'm gonna production. turn off the radio because that is principally uh, to allow pilots to ship. It's really cool and all. Uh, it's just a little distracting and perhaps not very useful in the live stream. Alright, I think we're just gonna have to put her down, man. Alright, so we're at a 1500 meters, 1400 meters. Gonna move. Power to shields. Landing gear down. I'm not really sure why this is not a good landing spot. It looks pretty nice to me. Change camera. Change camera.
full stop. Engines full stop. All right, we got our first landing in beyond. Uh, in the beyond. Um. Uh, Really cool, really cool. Okay. I'm guessing the planetary vehicle is... Uh, not powered. Alright, well, we don't have a lot of fuel on here. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Why is there metal? Let's check out this weird signal over here. Uh, we can refuel it when we run uh, down to really low. We'll just start uh, refuel with the premium fuel. Alright, so we are 8,000 light years away from Colonia. Just want to point that out. Um, uh, I don't know. This is looking really weird. Why are there canisters? I forgot to pick it. Why are there canisters floating around here? Where did these guys come from? Seriously? I mean, I don't really have any intention of... Uh, carrying any of this home even if I even if I could I mean if they were gonna do something at least make it materials don't make it commodities All right, but let's see if he can find uh, some kind of rock to mine over here. This looks more like a natural thing.
I just don't want to get uh, weighed down by something, even if it's worth. Uh, what was it? Eight thousand credits. It, it it isn't it isn't worth eight thousand credits to me to have to carry an extra ton of stuff. So yeah. And the uh, controller here is a little bit different than what it is on the PS4. Alright, with gravity, these things fall to the ground pretty quick. So this is uh, another cool thing. Uh, you can add it to an ignore list. And then remove it. So that... Uh, Uh, you know, you won't be picking it up. Um, since I now have so much more storage space, I don't mind picking up this stuff. Uh, even if it isn't really what I needed. We're just gonna fill up the stores anyways. Um... Right, we're gonna go after this thing. Command of binary is online. They were just waiting for the fuel to basically run out. I don't want to refuel until I have to. Chromium, I think we were looking at Chromium. Also, um, under the material there now, on the bottom left hand, it will say how much you have and how much you can have. Which is uh, pretty cool. So now I will say 67 out of 300, and now if I go and um, uh, check out inventory over here, materials, iron should say 70. Picking up three per, just like before. Not really seeing that there's like a ton of ton of rocks to uh, hit though. I mean, nobody's ever been on this planet before. There should be lots of materials to pick up. Uh, chromium, manganese. Um, all the green stuff is here.
here it is bronzite chondrite should have some different materials than the uh, uh, the outcrops that we got uh, chromium There's another one right behind it. Alright, we'll go we'll check out the other thing. Also the bronze side chond, right? to be in a different to shoot it. Uh, iron and nickel. Struggling with the uh, the keys here. So we're not going to go and check out the metal because we know it's just going to be canisters and that is a little uh, unrealistic. At least there wasn't freaking skimmers around here to uh, uh, mess with things. Alright, uh, we're going to refuel. We're going to do premium. Excellent. Uh, for the stuff that we're looking at, uh, AFM refill. Uh, we need nickel, zinc, chromium, and vanadium. We have all that. For a premium, we have all of that too. We need some ruthenium there, I guess. But zirconium and tin is kind of low, and ruthenium, zirconium, and tellurium. Don't know if you have that here. Uh, let me see. There is ruthenium here, it's 2%. Tin is 22 So there's a chance we can find some of the stuff we need here. 2% isn't really... super. It's a little bit easier to drive on a higher G planet because you're not bouncing all over the place. But we can go a little faster. But we're not really finding like massive amounts of stuff. I was supposed to adjust for it because uh, we're gonna need a lot of materials for the engineering the way it's uh, set up. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, so I can't really uh, um, show that. Uh, but 
And basically for each module you look into upgrade you have to go through the whole grade one, two, three, and four and five. Uh, which isn't really a huge problem, it's just uh, it may take a little bit of effort. Ooh, look at that. That was like a lot of stuff. <laughs> but it's like mostly the all the stuff I already have, though. I haven't really found any of the... super useful stuff. Uh, but we have to fill up the stores, so... It's kind of a whatever situation, we're just going to pick up everything. And there's another... There's another one right over here. Now there should be a third type of um, rock that we can find. Actually, I think there's four. Uh, and so far we only found the bronze site and the outcrop. We haven't found the other two. Manganese. I have plenty of manganese. But I have plenty. I well, plenty. Uh, it's not really a um, rare or anything. But like before, we just pick up everything until we're full. And then we'll head over to the other one. Interesting to see those. Um, um, signals on the scanner there. They're a little bit high up, and they definitely could be. Uh, man-made, but also maybe not. I wonder if we should go for it. See what some of these things... turn out to be we got something here at uh, 333 we'll follow that and see where it takes us uh, I did check if there's um, 
major rocky magna volcanism. That's cool. All right, we got something. It's not crammed up against the uh, um, the scanner like uh, man-made would be. But it's still pretty high up there. And then there's another uh, bronze site, I guess, over to our right. For now, we're gonna see if we can focus in on these signals over here. Need to shift a little bit. But it's definitely something coming up over here. Now it broke in two. And that is the canisters, isn't it? That's the canisters. Alright. That sucked. I don't want to go for the canisters. I was hoping it wasn't going to be, but... Yeah. Come on, let's uh, get some. Uh, let's get some. All right, I can hear it now. I still think that the the whole navigation thing, uh, where it's showing you where your next planet or next system is going to be, uh, in the SRV is very distracting and useless. I don't know why I have it there. This is a little bit more useful. Not very, but... And we got something over there. So 
still at 2.30ish. We're going to look at that. We'll see what comes up. Oh! Startle. Uh, that could be the canisters again. Hello. I said it was easier to drive. I didn't say it was, uh... It's not like driving your regular road car. So, uh, one of the things we need to find is probably going to be arsenic, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, seven. Uh, hi, Nomad. Alright, um, and welcome to the stream. Sorry, I lost my signal. There we go. Alright, so, uh, let's have a look at that again. Uh, you can filter your material list. So you can show, uh, only elements. Uh, or just uh, manufactured. And I guess the various grades. Alright, let's... Uh, I'm not sure what they are. I'm not sure what the I grades can now are. I jump over um, 65 light years. Oh yeah, you got the... Uh, you got your frame shift drive engineered with the new stuff. Yeah, I've been working on the frame shift drive on my PS4 uh, commander for the um, the chieftain. I got that fully worked out. Um, it was it's kind of cool because you can just uh, pin the. Uh, you can just pin it and then you can do it wherever you want, which uh, I really loved. And um, then you can just do the, you know, the remote workshop or whatever. Uh, and then you can get it up to grade 5 and then you can go and visit and get the special... Yes and the no, special effect only if added. mod is clean. Yeah, but why wouldn't it be? You know? Alright, so here's tin. We were looking for tin. Sort of, I guess. But yeah, I, it, it's... Uh, the RMI had mods before Beyond. Laughing face. Yeah, well, uh, I guess you may not be able to do those on the remote. I don't know, maybe you have to go to the engineer and have them reset. I know you can choose to uh, convert, but you will lose everything you have on that if you do. Uh, well, no, you, it will be downgraded to a grade 4 if it was a grade 5 from before. So you'll lose some out, but then you're just going to do the grade 5. 
engineering for that. Nope, those must be converted. Yeah. Yes, five to four, then one up to five. Yeah. <laughs> um. But my chieftain did not have an engineer drive. So, um, I just got the stuff pinned and then I just flew around and picked up the stuff I needed and got it engineered uh, via remote. And then I went to uh, see. Um, I went to Farce there to get the recipe first, or oh, not the recipe, but the, um... Your lack of preparation disturbs me. Tongue sticking out. Haha, <laughs> well... Uh, I haven't played this for like three weeks. And I'm, um... Uh, 30,000 light years from the bubble, so... I don't really... I'm not well prepared. And I didn't have much of anything for frameshift drives. I, I, I've, I usually just go and uh, get one frameshift drive and then I get what I need to do um, the engineering on that and whatnot and then I don't care until I buy another one then I had to do the roundabout again. So, but yesterday I did spend some time. You have failed the PC master race. Your excuses are futile. <laughs> Tongue sticking out. <laughs> uh, well, I can only do so much. But I am going to be picking up uh, a bunch of stuff on my way home from here. And we'll see. And this is probably going to be the last rock before I recall the ship and we'll fly on to the next planet. But yeah, the grind is we still very real. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of grind. Alright, there's two rocks over here. We're going to choose the left one. Oh, they're right next to each other. Oh, there's a third one over to our right. Cool. We'll take these three. not really paying attention to what we're even picking up here because it doesn't really matter what it is. Um. Whatever it is, we're gonna want it. Alright, we'll get the other outcrop. Well, look at that. Three ruthenium. That is cool. Pick up that. That's for sure. I really hate that this thing... I uh, cannot get over a small rock. But, you know, I guess they can't fix everything. Here we go, we got 19 ruthenium.
Welcome to new viewers in the stream. If you enjoy the stream, please consider clicking like or subscribing. It would be most the appreciated. Other one is right over there. All right, we'll get this one and then we'll uh, recall the ship. What do we got? Manganese, more ruthenium. I'm always uh, poorly prepared for these material stuff. But I won't be after this trip. I should have lots of... Uh, lots of these guys. All right, let's uh, recall our ship. ship I'll just wait for it to come down. There it is. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, well, a good thing I didn't get a bounty for attacking myself. There is another uh, planet in this system with the stuff on it. We'll go and check. See what that is. All right, that was a bad job. So the other ship, the other ship, the other planet is that one. It's also this. Uh, I did not have any problems with my uh, controller this time. Landing gear up. to uh get off of this rock first before we head for the next one but yeah with the new material store you're gonna need a lot of materials so there's gonna be um and increased need for um, uh, 
scanning on these types of uh, moons. Of course, out here, who knows who's going to come out here, but uh, that's going to be a high gravity situation. I don't know if I want to even go there. Uh, these might have interesting stuff. This is mostly going to be ice. Alright, we are finally making some speed. No, that was pretty close. I didn't actually notice that. We got iron, nickel, sulfur, carbon, and phosphorus, chromium, manganese, zinc, niobium, molybdenum, and antimony. Uh, I don't think we're going to pay that one a visit. I think we're going to check out this guy. Is that cruising speed? Cruising speed? Engaging cruise speed. need a little bit more speed. Um, all right. Looks like these two are pretty close together-ish. About 800 light seconds. Cruising speed? Engaging cruise speed. Um, yeah, there's there's no interest on that. gas giant itself, it's these moons that might be interesting. <laughs> we'll have a look and see what they have to offer. Uh, that planet we uh, skipped at 1.4 Gs. Uh, I don't like landing in... Uh, With that kind of gravity. I lost my ship once out here. I don't want to do it again, so... I'm being... Super cautious. I'm guessing that pinned would refer to the materials for the various um, 
things that you have pinned from the engineers? Uh, we're just going to scan them all and then we'll see uh, what they have to offer. We also have to review uh, uh, what our needs are, like immediate needs. Which means I probably should have something to write on, but I do not. Full stop. Engines full stop. <sighs> All these. Uh, FSD injection. We don't really use that. Um, uh, all of this stuff is cool, but I don't have any of it. I don't. Doesn't matter out here. Uh, limpets, iron and nickel, uh, we're good. Uh, AFM refills, uh, zirconium, alright, just give me a second here, um, Let's put zirconium on the list and uh, molly. And uh, tellurium. And sink. Uh, and uh, Ruth. That's everything under that uh, tin is also under twenty five and Molly we did zirconium heat sinks that is uh basic conductors uh that is not a material I can get. Life support, we're good. Iron and nickel. Uh, SRV refuel, sulfur and phosphorus. Here we go. This is important stuff. Uh, sulfur. Uh, arsenic. Uh, mercury. And technetium. Okay. So, um, these last three are going to go to the top of my list.
Iron and nickel, that's fine. SRV ammo, that's fine. I'm not sure why I need to restock ammo. Isn't it a laser? Never had to restock that. Okay, so while these are kind of cool, it's not really something we use a lot of. Alright, we're gonna have to compare this with what we found. Uh, <laughs> where did you go? Ah. Uh, All right, so let's look that up here. All right, while we are looking for uh, uh, polonium and mercury and all of these things, Uh, arsenic is very high in our list, and there's none of it here. So I think we're going to go check out the next planet. And we'll um, test our luck over there. And if you don't find it, we'll just move on. We're gonna have to... Uh, it's not a crisis for any of these. But I definitely wanna... Uh, definitely wanna find an arsenic. And as many of the other ones as possible as well, but... Let's see what we got here. All right, cruising speed. Engaging cruise right, speed. Coming in, coming in really fast here. That's really not what I, what I think it is, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's the outermost move. A really, really weird orbit. Alright, so there are some cool stuff on here. Come on, stop doing stupid stuff. I wasn't talking to you. Uh, 
Sometime my Amazon Echo thing is picking up even though I didn't say the magic word. Joined. Hello. Uh, hi Quincy, welcome back. Thank you for hosting. Sup? Uh, we're out here, NP. way out in the beyond. Uh, um, I thinking hope some people will the, discover you. Yeah, I hope so too. Although I do have more followers on uh, Twitch than I thought I did. Well, cool. Um, yeah, so I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, about 30,000 light years out from the bubble. And. Uh, I'm looking to find uh, materials. Twenty six followers and one point one four zero views. What? Uh, yeah, I haven't really been actively doing anything with Twitch. That wasn't a link. Alright, one last uh, moon here. And we got them all. We'll check and see. I'm... I'm looking for I'm looking for um, arsenic, mercury and technetium, but also sulfur and that game looks nice. Phosphorus. Yeah, this is kind of chill when you're doing the um uh, doing the exploration thing here. Full stop. All right, let's see what we found. Sulfur, phosphorus. Let's build a ladder. Uh, there's no ladders in this game. Hey, look at that. Arsenic, 1-5. Sulfur, phosphorus, arsenic, mercury. So that one is good. I will now transform this human into a cat. Degree, degree. <laughs> okay. Uh... Sulfur, carbon, phosphorus, that's all good. Iron, nickel is great. Manganese is not really on my list, but that's all right. Vanadium, not on my list. Arsenic is, cadmium, antimony, and mercury. All right, let's go down. If the human body is 75% water, how can you be 100% salt? LOL. Well, it's gonna 
Have to be something special if you're that salty. Let's see if they uh, got some uh, cool new. See if they got some new uh, cool textures for these uh, sort of icy bodies over here. Are they really that close together, or does it just... Uh... Wow. Alright, they're very close. We should be able to see one from the other. Just gotta make sure we land on the sunny side here. But yes, this is a lot better than, uh, you know, those uh, weird, peachy, fuzzy um, uh, planetoids they had before. I uh, didn't check the gravity here, but it's supposed to be uh, very low. Uh, there's a blue patch. That's a mountain. Okay. All right, we're gonna aim for just to the right of this crater. Right about here. to find a patch to put down. It looks a little bit like green ice. Uh, they fixed the textures from the looking from the outside in, nice but um, uh, not so much done to the surface yet. So it's still going to be very much the same when we're down here, but uh, Uh, landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. So does it look better or worse? Well, down here it doesn't really look a whole lot different. at all um, um that's gonna come in the later update Uh, but at least from space, when you're flying by these uh, uh, these planets, uh, they don't look like um, peachy little fuzz balls anymore. Say bye bye to the ship. Bye bye ship. All right. So low gravity means the low traction. We're gonna be jumping all over the place. Let's find some arsenic. Bye bye shippy.
Yeah, might as well just uh, send it off and have it hover over. It's going to take off if I get too far away from it anyways. Yeah, nope. There we go. Uh, gravity is 0 0.05 G's, so it's... Uh, okay, we're having a lot of different By the things way, popping up. How much here. is this game? Oh, well, I don't know. Isn't it like 50, 60 bucks like everything else? But, I mean, your playground is huge. Oh. <laughs> Alright. So... This is the galaxy. <laughs> this is your playground. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think you joined with um, Subnautica Too stuff? Too bad I have a shit graphics card. Yeah, you kind of need a little bit of graphics power. So this is the bubble. This is uh, where Earth is in here somewhere. And this is the center of the galaxy. And this is where I just visited. And I made my way all the way over here, over here. And now I'm just about here. And we're going to make our way home. Oh, so this is about 30,000 light years to the um, bubble. <laughs> All right. It wasn't really... Wasn't really winning so the lottery on that. Player, right? Uh no, this is multiplayer. Uh Yeah. See all of my friends are thirty thousand light years away. Ooh. So yeah, you can uh uh get together with your friends and uh and shoot up your enemies. So how many max? Uh I don't know. Um it puts users into instances. I've seen thirty people in an instance. Uh currently a, a wing is limited to four people. But you can form multiple wings, so you can have, you know... Wow. Uh, you can have a number of friends in a number of wings. Uh, I thought there was another one nearby, and there it is. Subnautica could fucking learn from this shit. <laughs> uh, Subnautica could use some multiplayer uh, stuff, yeah. Um. Definitely, and... Uh, Uh, but the thing is that this isn't, uh, no, this isn't Subnautica and, uh,
and this isn't No Man's Sky that either, so fun. there's... But multiplayer in Subnautica, yeah. Uh, even if you land in different... Um, uh, I think that would be cool if you land in different um, um, escape pods. And then your first job is to find each other. And then you can uh, uh, work co-op on building bases and uh, exploring all the other stuff. Uh, but that may require some sort of map uh, randomization thing. Otherwise, if you play it in single player, you'll figure everything out. And then it will be relatively easy to figure out where you are and where you need to go. But yeah, I definitely do co-op uh, with somebody on that. Yeah, and maybe the more players, the harder the game. Harder the asterisk. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Nah. Oh, there's a Mercury here at least. Oh, hello. Doing donuts. Fingers.exe is not responding. Yeah, I know. I got that problem too. Alright, I think that was all of it. We got some sulfur and some mercury. LMAO. Normie is re. Alright, let's see what we can find over here. Uh, 65. 60? Yeah. Keeps moving a little bit. And narrowing it down. There we go, 40. I don't think I actually found any. Uh, what graphics card do you have? Uh, this is a GTX 970. So it's not exactly uh, top of the line either. But it will do nice. for now. No lag with that? Uh, no. I get 60 frames uh, easy with uh, with this game. I'm gonna buy that one, I think. Uh, the, the 10 series is out. Uh, so, you should look at the 1060s or 1070s. Uh, 1080s are still expensive. Like, very. But, I'm not going to be upgrading for a while. I, I don't have... Don't have a budget for that. <laughs> I don't think we got any arsenic yet. No, we still have those eight. I am happy with 30 frames, and belay of me, 
I only get above that with a Fahu games. Yeah, there's some lag uh, with Subnautica, but I don't know if that is um, uh, if that's the graphics card, or if that's the CPU, or if that's just the game. Um, there are some um, some spot where the game lags, and uh, I don't know. But, I mean, if I'm going to do something now, I'm going to have to... And go... I have a shit graphics card, but Subnautica is like no lag. Well, you can always turn settings down a little bit. That kind of fixes the lag issue, but, you know, things don't look so pretty. Trying to figure out which signal I want to go after. I kind of feel like I just came from over here, so. But that is a my pretty is strong great. signal. My CPU is good, but not too good. And my Grap Gix card is the shit ties I have ever fucking seen in my whole entire fucking life. Well, you may want to have to do something about that. The, uh, definitely the advantage of building your own computer is picking your own parts. So... I picked but out all the parts. You know, it is Intel. I picked out all... yeah, well, Intel. Uh... It's not really designed for video games. Intel is shit in graphics. Uh, their their display adapter, whatever you want to call it, it's their video adapter stuff isn't really designed for video games. It's mostly for just regular. Um, just display your GDAV. regular computer I stuff. I can run it with my. Yeah, but GTA is not really very demanding on graphics now, is it? I don't know. I never played the. Uh, never played GTA. Ah, oh, come on, man. Alright, ah, uh, no arsenic. Well, I am getting lots of the, all the other stuff.
Lenovo motherboard, i3 CPU, 8GB RAM, Intel Kof Shitkoff graphics card and 1TB HDD. Yeah. That's not that's not your typical uh, gamer uh, computer. Why I built my own. Cost a little bit more, but indeed. But I don't have That's money. That's a computer. Yeah, I know. I know how it is. Emma, upgrade my graphics. Soon. Well, you're gonna have to check out your board and see if that's even uh, an option. Make sure you know what you can put in there. Alright, we're gonna do one more rock and then uh, we're gonna recall the ship and uh, move on. You know, a little bit, little bit more SRVing than uh, I wanted to do today, but I don't have a lot of time either because I'm working on. I'm actually working on things at the house. I gotta finish that up. Otherwise, I'll be in the doghouse. It's a laptop, but with an amplifier, I can put a graphics card and done. All right. Yeah, I just built the. Um Um, damn it. It's in total around 300 bucks. Uh, I built a new computer for my daughter for Christmas. She's psyched. She can play Subnautica. Almost in, uh, enough for the amplifier. She can play Subnautica in uh, full HD. And then the graphics card. Alright, one more, one more rock, just one more rock. I'd really like to see some of that uh, arsenic, but um, let's see. Where are we? We are over here. Okay. Uh, water. Okay, that's cool. I haven't seen any though, but... That's not really something we... Um... I play Subnautica 2, lowest setting, except for anti-aliasing, it's no lag. I am happy. Yeah, my daughter went through that for the last couple of years with the... Uh, with, with Skyrim, I think. Skyrim on almost lowest settings. Uh, she got the 1060 card, I got the 970. Uh, she got the... What did I get her? A Ryzen... AMD Ryzen 3 CPU. I don't need high quality. 
I need no lag. Alright, we got antimony, but no, um... And that's an awesome computer. Really. I really, I can't believe I can't get over this stupid rock. By the way, it's my birthday soon too. Hint, hint. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not in Just a position to give you a video card. <laughs> uh. Alright, one more. We're going for one more. I need I need one more. Come on, give me some uh, arsenic. I just need one arsenic. I'm almost there, and then I can play Rust with frames instead of without. People still play Rust? That's the, uh, uh, the mech, um, online battle thing, isn't it? Or am I thinking? I think I'm thinking dust. I did. There's a game called Dust, I think, which is probably what I was thinking. But like 20 FPS max. All right, still no freaking arsenic, man. Gonna recall the ship uh, while we're picking up this stuff. I invade you. Kidding me with the stock again here now? All right, here comes the ship. Change camera. There it is. So, show Chain. me the Wii. Change camera. Get back in here. With only three jumps a day, we're never gonna get home, but uh, hopefully, it won't be. Uh... 
Won't be that bad every day. All right, there we go. Full speed. Engines full ahead. Oh, so, you forgot to check. The ending of this game. There is no end to this game. Landing gear up. Awesome. This game is uh, uh, open-ended. There is a story that kind of goes along, but uh, there is no rule that says you have to do uh, anything. You can do whatever the heck you want. I have to try and get away from all the planets all at the same time here. Alright, let's uh, jump to the next system. Alright, here we go. 53 light years. Full stop. Engines full stop. Alright, peekaboo. Oh, it did not full stop. Seriously, lady, you said full stop. Do not appreciate Do not appreciate flying at light speed into a star. It's very uncool. speed look at your whispers all right man I'm not on twitch right now hang on twitch bruising right speed you're acting so funny what's wrong Billy Bye. That timing was perfect. All right, I'll check out the, I'll check out the the clip after. Thank you. I uh, um. NP. Um Okay, we did get it.
cruising speed. Um, did you send me the clip from the guy who had the weird comment from uh, entering the base in Subnautica? Was that you as well? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I watched that a couple times. That guy was like, what? That was me. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a funny little clip. Alright, I'm just gonna check out uh, uh, that was awesome. these two planets right here, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna have to have some lunch and to finish up my uh, work in the bathroom. Full stop. Full stop. Engines full you are stop. the legend captain on the planet. I'm not even squitting. Not really a lot of stuff there I really, really need, is there? No. Don't really have any particular need to land on this thing. Uh, I'll have to make like a, a more complete line. shopping list. Sound a bit like I am. Full stop. Engines full stop. All right, we're gonna get this planet into view here. I have a question for you. Okay. A personal one. What is? All right. Your. Favorite color. I'm gonna say blue. LOL. And uh, that's gonna be it for today uh, I gotta go back to work and uh, we'll pick it up uh, tomorrow I guess uh, until then this is uh, game